everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hello guys, so today's lesson is going to be about gravity. So, um, gravity is, the, is basically like the, the pulling force that we have on Earth that keeps us down. So, as you can notice, as you might know already, if you drop something, it goes slower and then and then it exponentially, like, it just gradually gets faster. So, so let's try recreating that in Scratch. So, first thing you'd, you'd want to do is, you'd want to go on um, variables and make two things. Two variables, yeah. One of them, what you want, um, you want to be gravity. And uh, another one's going to be like the, another force of the, like of the, just in, yeah, vertical speed or something. Yeah, vertical speed. Uh, let's just hide these. Now, the simple code is, um, so, I'll, I'll be making a project, like, um, it might be a bit long, so, I'll be making a project, um, while explaining the gravity concept, not showing it first, and then, yeah. So, first, so, first of all, um, I'm gonna delete this cap, because I think that I just, um, it needs too much, and I'm gonna upload a sprite, it's gonna be astronaut, I've already downloaded them. Yeah, here's a PNG file. It's more. It's gonna be more better if it's PNG. Else, it'll not be good. So, so yeah, here's our astronaut, and now let's create our ground because the ground is gonna be really, really important for, for us. So, I can't find any ground here. So we wanna paint. It's gonna be simple. We uh just delete the outline. We wanna have our um, gradient, here is our gradient, so let's do left to right, um, so the first part of the moon we want it to be bright, and this bright and this part will be a bit darker, I have to change the saturation, and uh, saturation, yeah. Um. So yeah. All right. So here. So yeah. Um. We did this, and now what we want we want to do is you want to have make a rectangle. Oh, and this time, yeah, it should have been different. So not, but never mind. Still, it's fine. Here's a rectangle. We'll need to change the gradient again to a bit different. Make this a bit darker and a bit brighter. So now the reason I'm cho choosing this is now because I'm gonna change my background. I'm gonna hit moon because that's the exact reason why I'm using an astronaut. And yeah, as you can see, the, um, the moon has, is shaded. Okay, and yeah, now we did that. Let's just decrease the size to 50 because it's a bit big. Now let's actually write the code. So, first of all, when green flags clicked, when the flag clicked, when the game starts, we want this to go to 0-0. Zero, zero. Just like always, go to zero, zero. Now we want to add a forever loop. And inside the forever loop, we want to say, we want to set our variables first of all. I mean, yeah, yeah we want to set our variables. Set 
gravity to negative one because gravity is always going to be going down. Just duplicate this block and now set the vertical speed to zero at first. All right, so forever, we want to make sure that vertical speed is changed by gravity. So one, so um, what what so what happens is that like um zero, so then gradually it's gonna decrease zero, negative one, negative two, negative three uh, until yeah, and then we want this to set y to set y to vertical speed, not gravity. Yeah, now as you can see, uh, okay, uh, the astronauts falling, except that it's falling forever. So yeah, this is where the ground comes. Forever. Um. All right, so uh, so let's just wrap it up in an if else statement. So. If touching sprite one, which I'll just name ground, yeah, it should be more clearer. If touching ground, then set vertical speed to zero because our vertical speed is going to be the way that our y position is set to you. so yeah so we want this to set to zero so now look uh wait is it touching the ground uh oh well um all right not be okay, all right so this might happen because yeah, the background might be included, which is transparent. So, what we want, what we'd want to do is perhaps let's just check which position is the best. So, I'd reckon that set x to zero. That zero x zero y zero, let's say fifteen is the best. So if y position, wait, yeah, y position which is in motion. If y position is less than, yeah, less than negative fifteen, yeah. Negative 15, then yeah. So now this also works, and this time it is actually stepping to the ground. Yeah. So, uh, let's just change it a bit because. Alright, so now. If y position is less than negative 50, then yeah, this is what's gonna happen. Uh, I must have done something wrong. Oh, yeah, here we go. So now that's for, now that's done. We um, that's pretty much what gravity is. So, uh, so so to extend this lesson, I want to make this jump and go left and right. So, if statement, another if statement, if key space is pressed or up arrow, I prefer space. If the key space is pressed, then we want to set the vertical speed to uh, depending what you want. So, I'd say N. Yeah. 
So vertical speed to 10. Duplicate this. Uh, uh, no. Right here. If right arrows click, then then uh, point in direction 90, and then move 10 steps. And then we will, and then if left arrows pressed, and point in direction negative 90, and yeah, uh, yeah, I know this might sound a bit wrong because look, look what happens. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much upside down. Uh, so yeah, now what we want to do is we want to click it on the. You go want to go on the top. This time, do set rotation style left, right. Yeah. Uh, Hmm. Not moving. Uh. All right. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much done. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's done. This part's done. All right. But hopefully you understand about gravity and jumping. Mess through with this and mess with this. No problem. Uh. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.